Disgrace My name is Natasha. I am 67 years old and I have two children and three grandchildren. I would like to share the story with you, my dearest children and grandchildren, because I will perhaps never have the opportunity to tell it to you again. Please learn from the story as much as you can. Or you're going to make the same mistake and live in disgrace your whole lifetime. The story began 20 years ago on a very hot summer day. Mom! Someone wants to talk to you downstairs. Shall I let her in? I went downstairs and told my daughter to go inside the house. I opened the door and saw a young lady with three children and a man. They were asking for a property to rent. I took her inside the house and she told me about her house where she is living right now and how miserable it is. I promised to find a property for her because I had really good relationships with my neighborhood and she left the house having the hope that I would find her a property. She looked really happy while leaving the house. I tried to find her a house, and I called here and there, but unfortunately I couldn't find her anything. I lost hope and decided to phone her and tell her the news. But then, the doorbell began to ring. I thought it was my husband, because he had not called for two hours after he finished work. My heart pulse began to sink again, and I was happy that he had come safely. Well. My happiness did not last longer, and the doorbell began to ring rapidly. I knew something bad had happened. I opened the door, and I was informed with the bad news. The world began to spin, and I couldn't believe my ears. Your husband had a very bad accident, and he's in the hospital. You need to go to him now. The next thing I could remember was me crying in the hospital and trying to concentrate and to understand what the doctor was saying. Mrs. Robinson, I'm so sorry. Your husband has to have an urgent operation or he will not survive it. The operation must be done by next week. A race began to form in my head. How am I supposed to get the money? I could hardly think of anything else. I went back home and couldn't sleep. At the next day, I took all my worthy accessories and all my gold and sold it. I got the money and tried to get from here and from there, but could not get the full amount. I began to hesitate and shake, and could not think properly. Then, the young lady who was looking for property called me to tell me that she has told the lesser that she is moving by next month and she is having another home. She asked me about the house and I told her that everything is ready but she needed to give me a deposit so that I can make the owner of the new house reserve it for her. I lied and I was lying again and again. I got the money from her that should have been the deposit. I shamed myself and felt disgraceful ever since. The lady told me that she transferred her children to the new school and they are very happy about that. I heard all that and hated myself for lying on such innocent and beautiful family. I smiled in her face that was full of joy and inside myself I felt disgrace I can barely explain. I brought the full amount to the hospital the next day, and my husband had the operation. <laughs>